hey guys welcome back to my channel so today um what we are doing is we are making a traditional uh uk sunday roast um so this roast i realized actually it's a lot like what we used to have on sunday at hostel and obviously as you know i'm not from the uk so it's not like something that's only done in the uk um but there are some elements especially like the yorkshire pudding um which i'll be making for the first time <laughs> um which are like make up that i've been seeing uh, it a lot on my like stories on people that i follow like your molly mays uh, rachel dairy etc etc um so i figured you know what let me try myself out um i did cheat though in that i didn't make the chicken myself i just bought the rotisserie chicken from woolworths um so yeah so basically we are making sunday roast <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy this video Okay, so like I said, I kind of cheated with the chicken. I bought an already made chicken. So I'm going to be making um, this veggie mix. Um, it's basically just broccoli, carrots, and like green beans. Um, so I'll be roasting that. And then I'll be roasting some cauliflower to make some cauliflower cheese. Which I saw is also like a thing that is like a staple for this meal um and then obviously potatoes because what's a roast without some roast potatoes obviously and then for the yorkshire pudding i have eggs um and then i'll ha have a cup of milk and also a cup of flour and then we also have peas for the roast um this cheese sauce is for the cauliflower and yeah basically that's what we need for this meal so i'm about to put the potatoes in now i've just peeled them and cut them into four and then i'm gonna put them in the water here my mom is also making some food so excuse the other big pots but anyway in here i put um some aromat some people put in salt but i prefer aromat and then um i've also put in a teaspoon of baking baking soda um because i learned this tip from rachel leary it's like if you put it in it gives your potatoes this like sort of fluffy um look and it looked really good so i thought i'd try it out but yeah basically now i'm going to put the potatoes in okay so we have put the potatoes in um we just leave them in here for like 15 to 20 minutes i'm going to set my timer now and then i'm going to get started on the vegetables um i'm using my mom's kitchen so it's a bit tiny um, if you've seen my house tour you'll know that we have a kitchen upstairs and a kitchen downstairs so that's why i'm a little cramped for space but i'm about to put these veggies into these tins uh, well not tins but baking trays and then we're going to put them in th into the oven which has been preheated at 180 degrees so yeah so i'm going to just do that now uh so yeah. here are my veggies um just i just need to drizzle some olive oil on them okay i need to concentrate to do this but i drizzle olive oil on this pan and this pan and then i'm gonna add some spices i will be adding um coarse black pepper i know it seems finished but yeah and i will also be adding some italian herbs and some aromat so yeah that's the seasoning and then uh, another trick i learned from rachel leary um if you guys haven't gathered this is where i got the idea to do this i also will add some honey at the end but yeah but right now i'm just gonna do that and then put it pop it into the oven and yeah okay so we're just gonna pop this in to here and also pop this in and they will both stay here for about 20 to 25 minutes so yeah before i get to the puddings i've just taken the potatoes off of the stove and i'm about to pop them into the oven and um, they stay in there for about like 20 minutes so yeah so we're gonna do that now okay so like i said this is the first time i am making this um yorkshire pudding so yorkshire yorkshire whatever <laughs> so at uh, first um you beat three eggs Ooh. then we stir in a cup of milk um after that i'll stir in a cup of flour which we have here 
and then basically that's round about it and then i'll put it into baking trays and put it into the oven i found this really easy recipe for them um that i'm gonna put in the link i'm gonna put a link in the description below my camera battery is turning low and obviously i can't stop and wait for it while i cook so i'm just gonna come back to you guys once everything is done now and show you everything so yeah so i hope you enjoyed okay so i've put in the pudding again like i said a recipe will definitely be available um but then yeah so i'm just gonna put this in the oven now and then i'm gonna, gonna make some gravy over here which you will see as the final result everything else is already on the table so yeah. to show you the chicken this is from Woolly Woolly oh this is from Woolworths um it's the ready-made chicken that they make so yeah okay so we have the gravy we have some peas um we have cauliflower cheese and then we have some roast veggies and some roast potatoes i just need the chicken and i just need to warm up the chicken and the yorkshire puddings and then we're done i just wanted to come on here to quickly sign off um the next time i will put the camera on is to show you guys the food um and show you how everything came out even the puddings otherwise i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want more cooking videos just tell me it is so hot in this kitchen that is why i look so sweaty but anyway um hope you guys enjoyed this and if you want more cooking videos comment down below and yeah i'll show you guys what everything looks like and then we'll be done don't forget to comment like and subscribe okay so this is everything um we have the gravy we have peas we have um cauliflower cheese we have the yorkshire pudding i think for a first time i think i did sort of good if anyone here has had yorkshire pudding you can comment down below how i did there's some roast potatoes some roast veggies and the chicken so yeah and then we got this non-alcoholic champagne from woolies so basically that is my sunday lunch done i'm just gonna call everyone now and we're gonna eat and yeah if there's still enough battery i'll tell you guys how everything tastes but we are done for today.